Hello everyone, welcome to getting started video series for Telerik Test Studio. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can test dynamic data. For demo, we are going to use Telerik's Blazor chart component, which is pulling data from a backend service. We are going to use Telerik Test Studio's OCI technology to capture images of this chart and convert those images into text and verify the text against the service, which is actually pulling the data to populate this chart. Before we get started with this video, I would recommend that you should watch the previous video. In that video, we have covered how OCR technology works and how you can write coded steps and how you can use Telic Test Studio's extension for your Visual Studio because most of those things we are going to use in this video. Let's take a look at the page that we are going to test for this demo. I've added a page called as sales and revenue. On this page, I'm showing some data about action and adventure, detective and mystery, science fiction book categories. I'm showing these book categories, sale count, and their revenue. I have four charts that I'm populating on this page. We are going to only test this chart on top of the page. We are going to verify if the data which is getting populated for June month in this chart matches with the data which is actually getting pulled from the service to populate this chart. Let's take a look at the code which I've written to populate this page on our application. For that, I'm going to go to my Visual Studio and then I'm going to go to the Razor component that I've added for this page. I'm using Teldex chart component. I'm not going to dive deeper into this chart component, but I would like to show you where we are pulling the information for the chart component. So whenever we initialize the component, then we are pulling information from product service. Let's go to this method to see where this information is coming from. When I go to its definition, then you can see that we're using an HTTP client and this HTTP client will get data from a JSON file, which is located on the server side. So if I go to my server project, and then go to its root folder. Then I have this chart aggregated data JSON, which stores the data which we are populating on our page. This data which is getting populated on our page is actually coming from this JSON. So the way we would like to test if the data matches with the data which is getting populated on our page or not, we are going to use Telric Test Studio's OCR technology. I have already written the test for it, which actually hover over this chart points and then it captures the images which is getting populated in this box. It converts that image into text and it verifies that text data with the JSON which is actually pulling the information. Let's run this test first, and then I'll show you how I've written the code for performing these steps. I'm going to click on this execute test, which is going to ask me the browser that I would like to use for testing this test. And then I'm going to click on run. It will open my Chrome browser, it will load the extension and it will navigate to the sales and revenue page. And you can see that Test Studio is navigating to each circle and it's hovering over it. It's capturing that image, which is showing the information. It will convert that image into text and then it will eventually verify that text with the service, which is actually pulling the information from that JSON file. And now you can see that it performed all the steps and it passed our test. Let's take a look at this coded step, which is actually performing 
most of the work. The first two steps are actually navigating to the page and then it's navigating to the Razor component that is actually populating our chart demo. Let's go to this coded step. For that, I'm going to open the C sharp file that I've written for this test. So this is the test and I'm going to open the C sharp file, which has that method, which is performing most of our work. In this method, we are refreshing the DOM and then we are getting the chart, which is populating our information. From this chart, we'll get the points group by using chart find expression method. And then from points group, we'll get the circles on which we would like to hover over and then we'll capture its image. So you can see that we are looping through all the points. We are using this for each loop to go through these points. And for each point, I'm hovering over this circle. And then I'm using a local method to extract that point data. Let's take a look at this method. If I go to this local method, in this local method, I'm refreshing the DOM and then I'm using find expression method to get the tooltip. And whenever I get the tooltip, then I would like to capture its image. Once I have the image, then I'm using Telric Test Studio's OCR package to get the text from that image. So I'm passing that image here and then I'll get the text of that image. And then I'm using a product point class and its parse method to convert that text into product point object so that we can store that into a list of product points that I would like to verify against the JSON, which is getting pulled from our server. So if I go to this class, you can see that this is actually a model which is storing our action and adventure, detective and mystery and science fiction information. And in this parse method, which is converting the image text into product point object, we are using some logic to convert the text into product point. And then we are returning that product point back to our extract data method, which is putting that product point into data points. So this is list of product points. And once we have all the product points, then I am checking if those product points are actually matching with the information which is stored in our JSON. I'm also logging the information. So sometimes the data that you're capturing is not accurate. And if you would like to debug if the information is getting captured properly or not, you can use Telric Test Studio's log class to log that data. Here, I'm logging the data which is coming for June month. So if I go back to my test here and view logs, you can see that the data which is coming for June month is getting logged. So this way I can debug the information which is coming from captured data. If I go back to my class here, then you can see that I'm using a validation service to validate the data points that we are capturing from Test Studio. If I go to this class, then in this class, I'm using HTTP client and then I'm getting the data from our JSON file, which is located in our server side. And then I'm using some link methods to get the information for June month. And then I'm verifying if the sale count matches with the product point that we're capturing from our test studio. So whatever is getting captured from our test studio is getting verified with whatever is getting pulled from the JSON file. So this is how you can use Telric's coded steps to verify if 
whatever is getting populated on the application matches with the data which is getting pulled from the service. If you have any questions, you can put those questions in the comment section below, or you can reach out to me on my Twitter handle, or you can send me an email at uhdrive at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.